Ngayon, nasa pangatlo na tayong H5P activity, which is image sequencing. Yun ang pag-uusapan natin today. So, let's go. As what we always do, para makapag-insert ng activity, all you have to do is pumunta sa course na gusto nyo, or kung ano yung tinuturo nyo course, then add an activity or resource. Pumunta sa activities, and then choose H5P. And give it a name, of course, unless hindi mo siya may save. And let's try image sequencing as the name. Let's display. Ayan, dito tayo sa options. Same lang kagaya nung kanina. Um, I'm going to have, I think, just four points. Grade to pass for me is perfect score. And attempt options. I want it to be the first attempt again. Same lang. And this time, I'm going to modify ko siya dito sa grade. There. Ito yung restriction na gusto ko. 100 and 100. And the tags. Okay. After filling all these out, punta tayo sa package file once again. And click natin yung opens in new window para makapunta tayo sa editor. So once you're here, click on add and look for image sequencing. So before choosing this, you should have an activity in mind already. So kailangan ilalagay mo na lang yung images nyo para mas ma mapabilis yung process. Like, nung ginawa ko or nung gagawin ko to is I have chosen yung life stages or yung metamorphosis ng butterfly. So, let's try. Task description or your instructions. I think this is just the same. Same lang din naman ito nung gusto kong mangyari. So I'm just gonna let this be. So ito yung images. Okay, let's try. Okay, una is yung egg. Two is your larva. Three is your pupa. And then number four is your adult, the butterfly. There. So once you're all set, tina na natin yung behavioral chain settings, rather. 
Okay, add a show solution button for the game. Mm, retry button, I don't want that. Mm, add button for resuming the current state. Okay, that'd be good. And the language is English. And these are just some of the things that you also have to see. And Wala naman akong gustong baguhin dyan, but if you guys want, then you can go ahead and do that. Feel free to do so. And now, since nailagay ko na lahat ng kailangan ko for this, I'm just gonna hit on save. And let's see what we've got there. So, drag to arrange the images in the correct sequence. So, we have first and then we have second. Okay, there you go. Check there. So, once that, that is all set, kung satisfied ka na dyan, let's close it. And kita mo, nandito na siya. So, next step it's for us to get it from the content bank and upload it in your course. So let's choose here. Again, ang ginawa ko is kinlik itong box na to and then pumunta ko sa content bank. Then pinili itong ginawa natin. Select. And there you have it. Save and display. Once you're all done, The course total must be a hundred percent. Okay, let's see about that. Hmm. Should be hmm. Should be less than 90%? Hmm. Let's see if this is going to work. Okay, so it's all done. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Yeah, nandito na siya sa inyong course. And that is that. You can use it kahit na anong classing activity. Anything that you can think of that would require processes, procedure, step-by-step, -step, anything. Only your imagination is the limit. So that's how you create the image sequencing activity using H5P. I hope this video helps and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers!